Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom. Last time we arrived here in Sand Mountain and we're doing a couple of uh, ski slopes, as it were. And I have a couple of things to share, so I was... I've been grinding off-screen for pretty things. I found out a pretty good grinding spot, and I thought this is probably the best way to make sure I get them all so that I can buy all the crabs things. So we're currently sitting at 65,000. And the other thing I have to show you is I kind of went along and went through jellyfish fields and got all but one of the socks there, because we can't get one of them yet, as we don't have the cruise bubble for SpongeBob Unlocked. But I'll go ahead and put the clips of that happening right here. Hello everyone. I'm not exactly where this is going to make it into a video. I'm not sure if I put it at the start at the beginning, what video or what have you, but uh, I'm actually going to take some time now to go ahead and go into some previous areas and get some socks that we may or may not have missed. Because there's uh, quite a few in each area, so I just want to wrap those up since I do think I'm going to go for 100% completion now. So, uh, oh yeah. Also, since it's probably going to come up, um... If I can get it to appear. Yeah, I have 60,000 of the currency because uh, I found out a pretty good method to grind. So I just went ahead and did that so that I made sure we could have enough. We might have to farm some more at some point. I really wish SpongeBob would shut up. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna kind of run around the levels and look for some socks. I do see one here immediately. I'm just not sure how to get there. Yeah, I'm not sure how we go about getting that one. It feels like one we'd have to play hooky for, but... Hmm. I mean, I guess if I could get control of Sandy, Sandy could potentially just fly to it, but I'm not really sure if that's what is intended or not, so... I guess I'm just gonna look around the level a bit more and we'll see if we can figure that sock and any of the other ones out. So I get over here and I can't help but notice the, uh freezy fruit right here, so this is probably how we're going to do this, but for that we need Patrick, and I don't I don't see one of the little uh, switch to Patrick things, so I think I have to go further into the level for that, so I suppose I'm just going to keep exploring, and when I see the next sock, or I get the ability to become Patrick and walk all the way back over here, then uh, I will see you then. Alright, I still haven't found anything to switch to Patrick quite yet, but we are here at this uh, area that told us we needed Bubble Bowling to uh, go here to do this. So we do have Bubble Bowling now. Let's just go ahead and do this really quickly. Do I have to actually knock them all over? I imagine. Or do I only get two shots? No, okay. It seems like we just go until we get it. I was worried I was going to have to like get a strike or get a spare. Is this what it's called? Or is it a spade? Spare? I think it's a spare. Alright, well, there's one more sock. And the only question is, how do we get some more? Okay, so I'm over here, kind of close to the next area of Jellyfish Fields, and I see a sock hiding up there. Hmm. How do I get up there, though? That seems to be the main problem I'm going to run into here. I don't suppose this gives us enough height. Ah, oh, jeez, I gotta get this thing high enough up again. And... Go! So does this give us enough height to... Yes, it does. Aha! Alright, and there's one of the socks we're missing for this level. Okay, and we still have that one back there that we need to... Freezy fruit to do, which means we need to be Patrick. I'm not sure why SpongeBob can't just knock it in, considering it's right beside it. But I guess knocking it applies too much force, and thus destroys the fruit. But uh, whatever. Let's just go to the next bit of jellyfish fields, and I'll see you when I see another sock. Aha! So I was back here doing Patrick's action. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm Patrick now. Hi. And uh, yeah, I just turned around and this jerkish sock is just kind of hid here in the ceiling. You have to look behind yourself to even see it. Rude. Also, that is not where I wanted to throw that. <laughs> but yeah, so while I'm stuck here waiting for that to respawn, talk about mechanics that really didn't come up in the game anymore past this moment. I completely forgot this even existed. 
No. Here, Patrick. What? P Patrick! Damn it! Okay, well, I'm just, I'm just gonna see you at the next part. Okay, so just a little note here. SpongeBob should come back here later when he knows the cruise bubble move. So I'm guessing we probably get a sock for this, and I imagine we have to, like, hit all of those boxes to do it. So I'll leave myself a note reminding me that one of the socks here probably can't be obtained right now. I, get, I suppose I should have waited to do this when I actually had all the abilities and everything. That would have just made it a simpler process, but... Oh well, I'm already in it now, and... It seems like it's gonna be, like, all but one or two that we're gonna get here. So... Just a note, I see this freezy fruit over here, but what is it used for? Like, I guess I could take it down there and walk on the water, but why? I don't see a reason to. I don't see, like, a hidden sock anywhere. I see one of the purple sparkly things down there. Maybe that's what it's for? That seems, like, so incredibly pointless, though. Is that really what they expected you to do with that freezy fruit? I don't really see any other area that has, like, a sock floating over the water or anything, though. Alright, well, I'll just ignore it for now. Hopefully it's not a sock. Okay, so... I made it back here. We're back at the beginning. I'm still missing three socks. One of them requires the cruise bubble. One of them I need Patrick for. Which is back here. I had to switch back to Spongebob to go to the summit. Because you have to uh, do a wall jump up there, so that's why I'm not Patrick right now. But I'm gonna go grab Patrick really quick. We're gonna get this sock, and then I guess I'll leave finding the other sock in Jellyfish Fields to future me once I have the cruise bubble. I love opening presents. Cha-ching! Uh, what? <laughs> what? Um, so I screwed up getting Patrick, so I was like, well, I'm gonna go do the slide or whatever. And I saw a little thing off to the side because I noticed that last time I went down the slide with SpongeBob. And I fell off, and then it put me right in front of a sock? I was kind of hoping that alt path was something, because I, I just recalled it from the last time I did this. Yeah, I noticed it down there. But I didn't think it was actually going to have the sock on it, and I definitely didn't think the giant hand was going to just put me in the correct spot I needed to go. Wait, why am I going the opposite direction now? O okay, well, whatever. Whatever. I, <laughs> I got the sock, and that's the important part, I guess. Maybe that's not where you're supposed to get on? I'm not sure, but... Needless to say, I am not Patrick, because it seems getting Patrick back to that first area is a bit more annoying than, uh, I initially thought, but... I will see you when I get Patrick back over there. Alright, here we are. We just got Patrick. So last time, the mistake I made was going over there, and I thought maybe I could, like, cardboard box back over here? But no, that wasn't the case, and then I couldn't get back. So this time, we're just gonna walk back this way, and we can probably take our cardboard boxes back up to the top of the slope, because there's like a slide you gotta go down. And then I guess we can just walk backwards, and this should be the way we get Patrick over here. Let's see. And this will be the last sock we can get in Jellyfish Fields for now. This is now like a... 30 minute, I think, recording of me just trying to get all these. 37. 37 minutes. <laughs> of me trying to get all these damn socks. Jellyfish Fields is a lot bigger than I remember. It's probably one of the largest zones in the entire game. I never thought I'd see it with my own eyes this week. Okay. So Patrick even has a, like, thing he says as a joke, commenting on the fact that he never thought he would go to Jellyfish Rock. Because yeah, Patrick, it was a pain in the ass to get you over here, let me tell you. Alright, so this is like a whole video's worth of recording, but this is just gonna have to go in a video as an add-on somewhere. It- it can't be a full video. So... Where am I supposed to throw this from? Down here, I guess? Oh, jeez. 
I couldn't find a spot for it to actually lock on to the, uh, water. Okay, I guess that works, too. Go get the sock, Patrick. Please. How did you even lose it out here? Okay. There we go. We almost have all of Patrick's socks in jellyfish fields. This has been an ordeal. And we're not even finished yet, because we still need the cruise bubble before we can get the rest, but I'm going to go ahead and end this little bit of uh, side recording off here, so... Yeah. Alright, and now that we've seen me collect all those socks, and I've explained how I got so many damn pretty things, uh, I think we can go ahead and continue on our merry way through this level. I love opening presents. So let's go ahead and see if we can beat Larry's time. Did I actually... I think I actually talked to him last time. We just actually got to do this now. So I got to get through this level as quickly as possible. Oh, well, I'm probably not going to beat Larry's time. Oh, wait, no, wait. Yeah, you have to talk to him. That's right. I forget. Okay. So we actually, yeah, we actually got to talk to him to start the mission, as it I'm were. The fastest there is. Like I said, I don't know why it doesn't just start the timer anytime you go down the slope. Like, if you're not interested in it, fine. I don't know. It seemed like it would be a neat feature for them to actually start the timer every time, too, because then if you, like, wanted to try and beat it as quickly as possible, or, like, you know, compare your time to your friends or something like that, you could. But having to, like, specifically talk to Larry every time to do it is, I don't know, it's weird, but... I'm sure there's a reason for it. I suppose if you're just exploring the slopes looking for secrets or something, you probably wouldn't want the timer going. But, I digress. Alright, blow up Tiki's. No, you actually gotta run into them to blow them up now. When you're on the slopes, weirdly enough. Like, proximity doesn't do it anymore. It seems like there was an alternate path for this one. Which is probably something that I want to do if I want to beat Larry's time. Or there may be some secret stuff hiding there. There we go. Ooh, and we managed to cut a corner here. This seems like it's definitely faster than the other way would have been. And we can hit all of those. Land down here. I definitely think that was faster than the other way. Woo. Glad I did a double jump there. Alright, yeah, you're... Who's who's throwing these sandballs at me? Larry, is that you from the, the top of the hill? <laughs> Just throwing bullshit at me to make sure I don't beat your time? You jerk. Alright, come on. Whoop. Had to slow down there for a bit, because I thought I was going to overshoot that jump. <clears throat> Let's go right. This looks like it might have been the right call. Come on. We've got to be close, right? How hard is it going to be to beat Larry's time? I might have to take some more uh, crazy jumps and risks. You lose, try again. Wow, it's still going? Am I going around in circles or something? Or is this still the full course? Because this is going to be a really hard time to beat if so. Wow. Okay. Um. Alright, Larry. I respect your time. That is a very respectable time. Oh well. At least we can get the spatula down here fairly easy, but beating Larry's time might take a second. Alright then. At least we're almost done with this. I... I don't know what... ...reason there is for, uh... ...destroying all of the, um... What's it called, uh... S uh... Sandmen, I guess? Best thing to call it? Because we have, like, a little marker for those being a collectible in this level, but... I'm pretty sure the last time I tried it, like, they don't save. Like, if you don't do it fast enough, or if you die or something, it resets your progress on those. Hmm. So, I'm not sure... ...to do about that, really, but... I guess right now we should focus on beating Larry's time. Alright, Larry, I'm gonna give it one more shot on camera. What does this do? That takes me up here, which I almost fell off of. Okay, and that's a sock. Alright, so we should probably just take as many of the shortcuts as we can. Seems to be the way to go about this. And I'm gonna try to cut his- oh, shit. 
damn it. I wish, I wish like until I got the spatula, it would just always start my timer. I'm instead of having to talk to this red jackass. <laughs> Every time. Oh well, at least I got the sock. Last time. So I don't have to worry about that this time, and I can cut a bit more corners. Yeah, I wish like until you got the spatula, or at least just all the time, it would start the counter automatically as soon as you hit the slope. That would make it so much easier rather than having to worry about, uh, did I talk to Larry? Did I not talk to Larry? But, I don't know. There's probably con pros and cons to both ways of doing it. Because as I mentioned before, it, it'd be pretty annoying to just be trying to get all the stuff on the uh, track and it's constantly timing you every single time. But I think I'm doing slightly better this time. I don't really remember the number I was at when I was right around here. I should just remember the tunnel and uh, see if I can get a better time on that. See what my time is when I get to the tunnel, I mean. <clears throat> Probably a pretty good way to track it. This definitely seems like a faster way than that other way I was going. I don't think there's any really big uh, shortcuts I can do by jumping in this one. It's kind of just little marginal things. Hugging the corners definitely seems to help, though. But this is... yeah, this is a long course. I guess I should have expected it from the third slope, but... Yeah, I, I wasn't quite expecting it to be this long. I almost lost it there. Whew, all because I hit that stupid sign. I am gonna take this path again. I think it's the shorter one. At least it seems like it would be. The other one just seems way too, like, roundabout, I guess. Uh... Oh, I bet you can do that. Okay, I got a bit cocky there, but I bet you can do that. Alright, no more, no more attempts on camera. We're off camera now. I just realized that I don't have the timer going again. <laughs> Jesus Christ. And, uh, the game actually checkpoints you during this, so... When you die, it's like, Okay, we respawned you back up here, aren't you happy? No. No, I'm not. I, I want to go back. Alright, here's the jump I think you can make. Uh, oh, I did it. Oh, that's a massive, massive time save. If only... If only I was actually timing this one. Because, uh, yeah, this is still the run where I forgot to start the timer. But that seems like a massive, massive time save along with that, so... Yeah, I think I'm gonna try to do that, even though it's a little risky. And we'll see if that's enough to beat Larry's time. I feel like a new sponge. After what Larry's put me through with this particular part, I'd, I would like to kick the shit out of Larry's time and make sure he never returns to my slope ever again. I'm the oh, I didn't even see this last time. What the hell? I didn't see this at all. I didn't notice the little bumper hanging off the side. That seems like an, another faster way to do that. But now we have a giant sandball here. It didn't seem like it actually saved that much time either. That's definitely a jump I could make right there. I just noticed that shortcut. There are a lot on this uh, slope. So I do think that's really cool that there's just so many different ways to potentially beat Larry's time. Because that was totally a shortcut back there too. Also, this is glitchy because the like sand platforms that are supposed to be here are already gone. Even before the uh, sand lands weird oh well so we're coming up on my big stylish trick so we're gonna see if we can land it again and see if it's a big enough time save to beat larry's time or not if not then we can definitely try that other shortcut that i saw where we kind of have to jump at a certain point we go into a cliff on the side i'm gonna want to go there anyway because there might be a sock hiding there so, if we just land like that, boom, yeah, that was, mm, fantastic, beautiful. The question is, is that enough? I don't know if it is. Nope, it doesn't look like it. No, we definitely still need to take that other shortcut, too. Okay. Well, now I know. So, we've got to take that new shortcut. I guess I'll show that next time as well. And Larry, you're, uh, proving difficult to beat. I'll give you that. We're the adversary. 
Oh, Jesus, there's a sock up there? No way. Yeah, I know I lose, but I was freaking out about that sock. There's a sock just hiding up there on that alt path. I didn't see that last time. I guess I was mostly just paying attention to the giant sand ball in front of me, but... Jeez. I guess I'm gonna see if I can try to get that before I do anything else. There's so much hidden on this stupid track. How much, uh... We're missing quite a few of the socks in this level, too. So I guess most of them are probably hidden on, like, alternate paths on these slopes, if I had to guess. So yeah, this is where the sock was. Oh, jeez. Alright, here we are. How in the hell do I... I don't know how you're supposed to get up there to that thing. But there's clearly a sock hiding up there. You know, we're just we're just gonna say screw it for now. We can go ahead and hit this shortcut and see where it takes us and how much time it saves us potentially. Okay, there was a sock hiding here. I'm glad I found it for that reason. Hopefully it puts me off like right at the finish line. All right, I didn't hit those, but I don't particularly care. They got us to the ground faster. Now, where is this? In the, uh, level. Oh, okay, I see where we're at. Alright, I'm gonna have to pull off my big trick again in a second. Not even sure if that's factored into, like, what you need to do to beat Larry's time or not. I just think it looks cool, so I like doing it. Boom, and there we go. Stick the landing. Cool, cool. I don't remember how much time we were at last time we made it here. So we may be doing slightly better this time. I'm honestly not sure. Oh yeah, we're gonna beat it. Okay, cool. Now we just need to figure out how to get that sock. Oh jeez. <laughs> Alright, so here's our spatula from Larry. Boom, boom. And there we go. So, now, I guess I just need to figure out how to get that sock. And that's the last thing left. I'm thinking maybe if you get enough speed, you can just jump onto that platform, but there's also, like, some of the robots on some of the other platforms there, so maybe you can get onto those, too? I'm not really sure. Oh, okay. Okay, I see it now. Let's go back. We need Sandy. Okay, okay, that's the solution here. Because there was a, uh, there was a Texas grappling point there. It just appears for a little bit on the screen, so I can see how I missed it a couple of prior times. Because it's just there for like a second at the, uh, beginning, and then it's out of your view. Whoops. I guess I held down the A button on that second, on that double jump too long, so she started lassoing, and then I just lost so much speed and momentum I couldn't make it to that platform. But yeah, I didn't see it the first couple of times I went by there, because it does appear just very suddenly. Jeez, you... Okay, maybe I just shouldn't double jump with Sandy, because if you hold that A button down for even a split second too long, it's like, okay, now we're flying. But I kind of got to double jump sometimes. I just got to be really careful when I do it, I guess. Hello, Mr. Krabs. Alright, so this should be easy now that we have Sandy. If I can actually hit the stupid thing... Nope. Nope. What are you doing? Why are you going backwards? There we go. Whew. Alright, take a breather, and let's get over there. Okay. Let's go. Shouldn't be too difficult. There we go. And sock. Come to me. Go ahead and lasso you. All right. Sock obtained. So I think that's all we need to do on this particular uh, one of these. How many socks are we missing? Three. Yeah, I'm not really sure where those socks are. But let's leave this area for now. And go investigate some of this stuff. I mean, there's, there's a couple more things we got to do. We have to collect all the snowmen, which I imagine gives us a sock, because we've already gotten all the spatulas. So... 
Don't Nothing need any more of those. Critter can't handle. Ow. Okay, Gary. I didn't even mean to talk to him. I'm guessing Gary doesn't want to let us in there. Okay, so... Yeah, we've destroyed that snowman, but it doesn't track it. I think that one is just one that doesn't count, but... I think the last time I played this, I commented that I need to remember that all the snowmen are in two. Because I remember seeing quite a few snowmen on this uh, particular course. So, let's see. I feel like we can cheese a lot more things with Sandy, so I definitely want to go at this course with her. Okay, there's one snowman. Or sandman. Jeez. It's just such a weird thing to say. Like, there's sandman, like, the story, I guess. The sandman that puts you to sleep or whatever. But, I don't know, seeing a- seeing a- clearly a snowman that's just made out of sands is just weird. And I'm not sure what to call it sometimes, so... I can't- I don't know which way is the correct way to go here, because I'm not sure which one has the Sandman on it. Now I can't, like, look around in free camera and, like, pause the game or anything to see. Okay, there's one there. So I'm guessing all eight of them are just on this track, and I just have to find them. Hmm. I've only been able to find two so far. This may have to be something we follow up on next time. Because I'm starting to run out of time here. But we've gotten a lot done today, so... Larry's bit definitely took me quite a long time to actually complete. But I would like to see if we can get all the snowman this episode. You know what, no. I'm just calling them snowmen. It's happening. I'm never gonna get it right, so why bother? <laughs> All right, let's see. That's three of them. Okay, and there's one on the bottom. So we gotta hit you. I don't think there's one up there. I don't see any listed in any of, the, in any of these other ways. Boy, this is confusing. They could have been down any of those paths. Okay, that's hard. Hmm. And let's see if it remembers the, uh, like, my total now. Yeah, it still says four out of eight, but when I teleport back, is it going to stay the same? Let's see. So... Whoop, not rock bottom. Four out of eight. Okay, so I think we just have to keep going at this and getting more and more of these things each time. And there's another one right there. Alright, here's another one down this path, so that's six out of eight. I'm guessing the part at the end where there's like three different paths is probably gonna have some there too. Okay, we went up last time, so let's- or wait, no, we didn't go up last time, but let's go a different path this time. Yeah, I went that way last time, so... Just running into all of these tiki's. Doesn't seem like there's anything up here. I can kind of travel upwards, though. A little. Eh. Okay, so we're still missing two. Damn it, where are they? Just float over here, I guess. Alright, back onto the course, I suppose. This is gonna piss me off. I want to find them. Okay, I found one more because I went to the left this time at the yeah, end. And I died, because I hit too many of the tiki's, apparently. But luckily we have a checkpoint right back here, and did it save my... Oh, when you die it resets. Okay, well, I know where most of them are now, and I think we're gonna follow up on this next time, because, yeah. I don't, I don't have enough time to get them all again. So when you die, that's when they resets. So you have to do it all in one life, basically. Alright, well, I guess I will see you next time. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Spongebob Squarepants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. See you then. Oh, 
Whoa. Okay. Okay. I, I slid on top of the pipe there at the end, and uh, I, I just jumped up there because I was thinking maybe there'd be a snowman, but no, there was a sock. All right. Well, now I guess the episode's over. <laughs>